Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to GTA Online. My name is Troy and today we're going to be customizing this. It is the Bravado Dorado. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel guys, today we're going to be customising a few new cars in GT Online. This is a new series that I'm going to start, where we're going to be customising new cars and old cars every single week on the channel. And today we're going to be customising the Dorado, this was added in the newest update, but I haven't had a chance to customise any of these vehicles yet. It is based on a uh, Dodge... Durango I believe um, it's this sort of like 90s SUV it's not really something I would buy in real life or in GTA online but you guys want to see me customize this thing so let's go ahead and head up to the custom shop see what kind of parts this thing has all right so we're up here in the custom shop let's go ahead and build this thing I think I want to build this thing as an off-road vehicle it is like an SUV so I guess we'll go for that kind of look. Um, starting off with arch covers. This is something unusual. So we've got stock arch covers. You can paint them green to match the body. You can have carbon ones. Then we've got these street arch covers. We've got a secondary version of that. Now the secondary colour is black, as you can see. We've got a carbon version of those. We've got the sport ones, which adds this little hood bra on the front. Um, I've never really been a fan of hood bras, they look a little bit weird, and I don't know why that's linked to the arch options, but there we go. Uh, you can have that in secondary or in carbon, but it doesn't look like it changes the bra option. Unless you go for the carbon one, then it makes the bra carbon, which is very weird. Um, I'm not really sure what we want to do. Oh, if we go for the arch options as well, it removes the running boards. Which does give us a little bit more ground clearance. So I'm going to go ahead and choose one of these options. But I don't know which one. What is the difference between the street and just the normal ones? They look identical. I don't really see. Are they just a little bit bigger? I think they're just a little bit bigger. Um, I guess if we're going for an off-road build. I'm just going to go for primary. Um, we'll just leave it like that. That looks pretty good. Armor, we'll just go for full armor, full brakes. Bull bar options. So this is going to be at the front here. Got stock bull bar is just nothing. We got chrome bull bar just down there. We got a chrome reinforced version. I believe this is off the, the BF Weevil. The, you can make it into like the, the injection, like an off-road bar jar bug so i don't know why that's on an suv but there we go we got the raid bull bar and a couple of fogs in there we got the rhino bull bar it's like a police interceptor one. Oh, we could actually maybe make this thing into like a an undercover police suv that would be quite cool uh we've got the bull bar two We've got Bull Bar 2 with fog covers. We've got Bull Bar 2 with fogs and those little extra square ones. We've got that with the reinforced. And then we're back to the stock. I'm actually going to go for the police one. Because I want to build this into a police like, undercover interceptor now. Um, bumper options. So front bumper to start with. We've got the stock one. We can go for a primary one to make it match the body. We can go for a carbon one. Then we got the primary smoothed. What's the difference with that? It looks absolutely the same, so I don't know. Um, we got carbon and secondary version of that. Then we got the street bumper, um, which does make it look a little bit newer. It looks a bit more like the new um, Durangos, which is quite cool, I guess. Um, we've got a secondary and a carbon version of that. Then we've got the Sport Bumper. And um, we've got a secondary and a carbon version of that. I like just the stock one, but I'm going to paint it primary to match the body. So we'll go with that. Uh, the rear bumper. We've got the stock rear bumper. Again, we can make it all primary. 
it's looking a lot better now we're making the whole thing one color we've got a carbon version of that then we got the extended how much more does it extend how many cars you got the second again? second option in all of these seem to be exactly the same as the first i don't really see much difference but there we go we got a secondary and a carbon version of that and we can go for the reinforced rear bumper Got a secondary version of that and a carbon. And then we've got the primary sport bumper, which has that little cutout down there. It looks like it has another cutout for a second exhaust as well. We've got a secondary and a carbon version of that as well. I guess since we're going for an interceptor look, we'll go for the reinforced to match the front. Because then we can like push stuff around. I guess that's what you do with a police car. Uh, engine options. We don't have any engine visual options. We can just add a bit more power. Front fenders. We can go for stock, which is primary. You can have secondary or carbon. That's very weird. I'm just going to leave that. Uh, grill options. So we've got this chrome grill. We can go for a coloured grill, primary coloured grill. We can go for the chrome horizontal, which makes less like a dodge so i'm not too keen on that we got primary version of that then we can go for the mesh grill with chrome surround or we can have a primary surround oh christ we've got the chrome mesh grill we've got the chrome mesh grill with the primary around and then we've got the grated in chrome and the grated in primary i like the stock grill just in primary so we're gonna go for that i'm just i'm just turning this thing into basically what it should have been all just the primary color so there we go right hood options so we've got a little is it a cutout or is it a bulge i can't tell from this camera angle it looks like it's a little insert in the hood we've got a secondary version of the stock and a carbon then we can go for the smoothed hood which removes that little insert We've got a secondary and a carbon version of that. Then we've got the twin intakes. So we can we can put like a challenger hood on this thing. We've got a secondary version of that and a carbon. Then we've got the ridge hood. Just adds a little power bulge in there. We've got a secondary version of that and a carbon. Then we've got the primary aggressor hood. Okay, that looks very, very weird. We've got a secondary version of that and a carbon. We've got the primary twin inlet hood. That it looks a bit odd on this car, but it's not terrible. It it yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, we've got a secondary version of that and a carbon. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll actually go for that since it's supposed to be like a high performance police version. We'll go for that in primary uh, horn. We could put the cop horn on if we're building it into a cop car, I guess. Uh, light options are just standard light options. I'm just going to leave those how they are. It's a shame we can't get flashing lights on this thing, turn it into a proper police vehicle. But there we go. Let's see if we actually have any police liveries. We've got the standard, no livery. We can go for a black stripe. We've got a white version of that. Dual grey stripes, so you can make it like the new Durangos if you want, like the SRT Durangos with the dual stripes. We've got that in a white version. Then we've got Dorado 6.0 litre V8. We've got that in yellow. And we've got the billboard, so it's like this sort of Challenger slash um, like Hemi Cuda kind of livery. Which looks very wrong on the, on the Durango, I have to say. Uh, we've got... I like that. It looks good with the green as well, actually. We've got Tribal Flames Halftone. That just looks horrendous. We've got Hunting Camo. That's kind of cool if you want to build it into like an off-road hunting vehicle. And that's a lot. So we don't have a police interceptor livery. So I'm just going to leave it how it is. Um, plate options we'll just go ahead and I guess we'll just make it black respray job. right so we do have a primary and a secondary obviously if you fit primary or secondary options on the vehicle it will affect that but the primary is going to change the whole 
main body of the car as it should. I'm going to go ahead and paint it. We'll go for like a anthracite black. That's good. I don't want it fully black, but I want it like sort of dark. Secondary option, obviously, if you fit secondary options, it will change those. But does it change anything else? Let's have a look on the interior. It doesn't change any of the stitching or anything like that. So I guess it is only if you fit a secondary body panel or something like that. Roof options we have next. Um, we've got stock roof. We can go for a roof aerial. Oh, it just adds that little aerial on the top. It's not very easy to see. You can just see it add in at the top. We can go for a roof rack or roof bars. We've got the raid roof rack. We can go for that with a fog light. Okay. We've got the raid rack with the fog covers. That looks pretty good. We've got the off-road rack, which adds some fuel. Or like, yeah, I think, uh, is that fuel? No, it looks like some kind of food box and some bags on the back. Or we can actually go for a roof box. I'm going to go for the one with the light bar, because that makes it look a lot more like an interceptor vehicle. Which is cool. Um, we can actually go ahead and add the um, running boards back in, which I didn't really want to do because I wanted ground clearance. But since we're going for a police look, we might actually add them back. But we can go for the regular one. We can go for a primary arch step or running boards. We've got that in carbon. Then we've got primary street step, secondary and a carbon version of that. Then we've got the sport step. We've got a secondary and a carbon version of that. And then we've got chrome side steps. we got plastic side steps. Plastic piped side step. we got a chrome plated step. A plastic running steps. Chrome running strips. The plastic clean side steps. The chrome clean side steps, that is a handful to say. And we've got the chrome slat side steps. I don't really like any of those. So I'm actually just not going to go with any of them options. I just, I'm just going to leave it stock. Spoiler options. I was not expecting to see that on this vehicle. So we've got, do we have a spoiler standard? We've got like a tiny, tiny little ducktail. We can add a little roof spoiler. We've got that in secondary as well. Um, then we've got a carbon version of that. We can go for an arch spoiler. That just looks very wrong. We've got that in secondary and in carbon as well. Then we've got the aero spoiler. And we can have that in primary, secondary or carbon. We've got the large aero spoiler. We're just getting bigger and bigger. It's not very easy to see. I should have waited to paint the car, but never mind. We've got that in secondary and in carbon as well. And finally, oh my god, we can have a GT spoiler on this thing. Yeah, I was kind of expecting something like this, and uh, I'm not going to go for it because it looks hideous. I'm just going to leave the spoiler how it is. I don't think this thing should have a spoiler. Um, suspension options, what kind of drop do we actually get? Okay, you can actually drop this thing quite a bit if you want it as like a soccer mom SUV instead of like an off-road build that I'm going for, but we're going for an off-road sort of undercover build, so I want as much ground clearance as possible. We'll go ahead and do some turbo tuning and transmission, see how fast this thing actually goes. Now, wheel options. I do quite like these standard wheels that are pretty cool um but i think we need to go for some maybe black ones would look better uh let's have a little look in off-road here just some generic sort of police wheels something like this would be very good no. so i've decided to go with these the mudslinger in chrome i think they look very good Fifty-five thousand dollars for those um should we go for some we'll go for bulletproof tires do we go for some custom tires no because i think we're going for an undercover build so we don't want it to stand out so there we go and then since it is a police vehicle we could tint it a little bit do we want to go full limo 
we could go full limo. I don't usually go for full limo. I usually just go for a light smoke. But I guess since it's a police car, we'll go for a full limo. Whoa, that thing is dark now. But there we go. That is the build. Uh, let's go ahead and take this thing out onto the street. See what kind of performance it has. And then we might take it off-roading as well. And see how it copes off-road. Alright, it is just turning daytime. It is 6 o'clock in the morning, which is lovely. Let's give it a bootful. It's not the fastest vehicle in the game, that's for sure. I don't know how it racks up against some of the other SUVs in the category. Um, but let's have a little look at some of the features on this thing. The light bar on the top actually does work, which is nice, but the little lights lower down that you can see on the bumper don't, which is a bit of a shame. I don't know whether they work on some of the other options, but the light bar does work. Alright, here we go with all the doors open. Let's have a little look what we've got here. We've got quite a big boot. I mean, it is an SUV after all. We've got a very generic interior. Nothing special there. It looks very low resolution the engine bay is actually quite impressive i think they've actually put a bit of effort into this let's have a little look in the back here uh yeah i mean the back is very low resolution this thing is a four door though so you can take your friends with you if you want to so we've fast traveled up to sandy shores in our suv we're gonna see how this thing deals with the off-roading part now it's a bit sluggish in the city but it will have good pushing power for um a you know police undercover vehicle i forgot that we now have animals in gt online that is amazing there's a deer over there but I want to test how good this thing is off-road, so we're going to put it through some deep water and see how this thing copes. It's got through there okay. Let's do a little bit of a, a little bit of a rock climb over here. Come on, Dorado. Can you climb up there? It can actually climb up that. That was quite impressive. Let's try something a little bit bigger. We've got some stuff here. I mean, this thing is not designed to be a rock crawler. It's, an, it's a utility vehicle. So it's supposed to be quite good at driving on wet leaves and stuff. But it's actually got up there pretty well. So it's not the best off-roader, but it's certainly not bad. So there we go. That is my showcase for the Bravado Dorado. Let me know what you guys think as I've got myself stuck by the river. Are you going to buy this thing? Are you a fan of the Durango in real life? What do you think of my customization? Do you like this police undercover interceptor build? Or do you think I should have gone with something else? Let me know down there in the comment section. And we're going to be back next week with another GTA Online customization video. So if you want to see more customization videos, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you did enjoy but that's gonna do it from me thank you so much for watching and see you next week